Right. Hello, everyone. You're alive. We're alive. Uh oh. So, uh, Eep is joining me for the very first time on Amigos mm -hmm. after four years of podcasting with Aaron. Mm -hmm. I've kicked him out, and I've got somebody, somebody better. <laughs> so, um, so where's the camera? The camera is right there. <laughs> See yourself right yeah. there. And so we're going to play some Atari 1200 XL. Have you ever played the Atari 1200 XL before? Nope. Nope. So uh, this is Eep's first time playing my very first computer. Hey, Michael. How's it going, man? Michael's out in California. Oh. Yeah. Hey. So uh, I've got a multi-cart here with a bunch of different games on it. But I think we're going to start with a classic. So we're going to turn this off. And we're going to start with this game. What's that say? Uh-oh. Pac-Man. Pac-Man, right. So here is my original cartridge. Um, Michael is a software developer. He makes games for a living. Oh. Yeah, so maybe sometime we'll have to play his game. It's okay. pretty cool. I think you'd like it. It's really cute. It's called Luna and the... Uh, What's it called, Michael? I always forget. Luna and the Moonling? Something like that? Yeah. Luna and the Moonling. So there we go. Luna and the Moonling. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So here we are with Pac-Man. Now, Eep, this is a joystick. You don't have a lot of experience with, uh, like, a joystick you hold in your hand. Most of the time when you play the arcade machine, you play on the something you stand up. Yeah. So you actually hold it like this. Okay. And with Pac-Man, you don't need this button. But when we play like Gal Galaxian later on, you'll need to shoot with that. But this, you just left, right, up, and down. Okay. Okay. So there you go. We're going to start it off. So there you are. See yourself right there? Oh, okay. Oh, I hear it. I forgot. <laughs> and remember, when you hit those, uh, you get, uh, so can you can like... eat the ghosts. Yeah, they run away from you when, when, you, when you can eat them and then they come and chase you. Yeah. Oh gosh. No, they cannot turn. There you go. No, I had to run. Oh. The guy know about it. Uh oh. <laughs> Try again. Okay. So remember, up, like push up. What you, yeah, that's up right there. Okay. So you know how to go up. No. Oh no. Now there's a special pattern you can do, where you go in a certain way, and they'll never, they'll never get you. Do you know what that pattern is? Nope. I don't either. So that guy, he chased me. Yep. So you got to get the flashing. No, where's the flashing? Oh! oh! See the flashing ones right there? Oh, okay. Yeah, get those and then you can eat the ghosts. Okay. They, yeah. Try again. So eat, eat that one yep, and, and now you them. can go and you can you can chase after the ghosts. And you can right. eat them as long as like go yep. Oh. Well once no, they change back, no, it's already too no. late. No. That's just a practice game. Let's try it again. Oh. You know what? This time we'll play two player. Okay. okay. So I'll plug this joystick in. Okay. And we'll go back and we say press select for a two player game. So do we have to. Oh no. And then start. Okay. Now you start again. I hate the game, sir. <laughs> yeah. Eep is not a big fan of losing in anything. He's a very competitive person. Yeah, oh. this is this this aside from mine? not having Why the. Uh, hmm? You're right there. Oh yeah, you didn't know that you can go. That's like an escape place oh. you can go to. Um, aside from not having the cinema, the cutscenes in between stages, this is a pretty faithful uh, port of the arcade version. I mean, uh, especially compared to the 2600. We'll have to play some 2600 games a little bit later on. Eve. You're doing a lot better this time. You've got to figure it out now. Well, you just got to get over to him. Before it's too late. Oh, you got one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. That's all right. All right. My turn. Okay. 
Hey, Picard 2005. Do you know who Picard is? Nope. Have you heard that name before? Uh-uh. You know Star Trek, that TV show? Yeah. Yep. Well, he's on one of the Star Trek shows. He's the captain of the ship. Now, I don't know if this is really Patrick Stewart that's in the chat room right now with this. But, uh, it might be. I like to think that it is. So what I like to do is, like, sometimes I'll go back and forth and kind of lure him over here, and at the last minute, boom! And come over here. Maybe we can switch it up and you can, you can see if you like this one better. Some people like, like Aaron loves that joystick, uh -huh. but I like this joystick. So, I was giving you Aaron's favorite. Uh -huh. That's like, that's like a professional stick, that one. And then this one is the same kind of brand that we had when we were growing up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Didn't do it. This is my turn? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I forgot. Did Amiga, did, did the Amiga get an official Pac-Man port to card? I know that, uh, Edgar Vidal, the oh, same guy that did no, Deluxe, no. oh, Deluxe Galaga, I think he did a Pac-Man, right? Hey, Necronom, how's it going? All right. This Here, turn. yeah, this is my turn, but I want you to try this stick. Try it out. See if you like it more. Uh, oh. I should not yeah. get it. <laughs> That's okay. I'll die real quick and then you can try it again. Okay. So this one is like clicky, yeah. and that one's not clicky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I don't know why. Actually, yeah. I gosh. That's okay. That's okay. I don't think I can be scared. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try? You want to try a different one? Yeah. I mean, okay. Try let's try. Let's one. try Galaxian. So Galaxian is on my multi cart. So like originally back in the day when you bought one of these games, it only had one game on it. Mm -hmm. But this thing has got this in it. You know what that is? It's like a like an SD card. Yeah. yeah. And you, you put all the games on that and then you plug this in and then you can have like tons of games on one cartridge. Hey Hasifa. Hasifa's with us. He lives in Australia. Oh. Yeah. He's okay. the guy that sent us the Super Nintendo oh. that we play with mm -hmm. Chris and then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he sent us that. All right, so we're gonna try out Galaxian. This is the first time I've played the uh, Galaxian on the um, 1200XL. It's all the way at the end, so I just added it to the card. Right? Well, maybe not. I need to probably sort these into folders. We'll try something else. Um, why don't we try Arkanoid? You might like this one. Okay. All right, so we're gonna select our input. You know what, the best way to play this one is with paddles. I don't know. We'll see how you like this. Okay. This is a different kind of controller. We'll plug that in here. So we will not use this one? We won't use that one. We'll okay. use this. Okay. Now I'm not sure we gotta see if they're working. So we need to go select select option using first letter. Okay. So we need A. And then Okay, so what you do is you twist this thing left and right, and you got to catch the ball when it comes down. So, so see how the ball's going up and down? Okay. And I'm this little guy at the bottom. And when I twist this, when I twist this this paddle, uh 
Uh-huh. That's how I move the ship back and forth to catch the ball. Okay. So how can you get the point? Okay, so the more blocks you knock out, the more points you get. So do they have, like, the, the, the time? So there's no time, but if the ball, if you can't catch the ball, uh -huh. then um, then you will lose a life. So, like, okay. okay? Okay. So whenever you're ready, push that button. The lid one? Yeah. Okay, you're going. Now twist. I, oh, gosh. Yeah, there you go. Gosh. Oh. oh no. Yeah, it's very sensitive, so just twist it a little bit. Okay. Again. You can you can practice twisting it before you push the button. Well, that's okay. No, no, it's not working. Let's see. Stop pressing the button. Huh? Okay. Try okay. again. You can do it. I have to. Push. Push and then twist. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe not. we should try with the joystick. You might have better luck with the joystick. The paddles are a little bit skittish. They haven't been cleaned in a long time. Let's try it with the joystick. All right. There you go. Joystick. J. Sorry. Okay, push the button whenever you're ready. Oh! oh. <laughs> Have you no luck? Yeah, the, the, the paddles, these paddles really need cleaned. I need to take them apart and oil them, or whatever you do to them to make them a little bit less finished, but they still work to some degree. had it lined up, but then it was too late. You just do nothing. Just come to me. Yeah, that's it. Let it come to you and then adjust at the end. There you go. And see those tornadoes up at the top? Uh-huh. They will come down and try and get you once you, uh, once you, uh, once you break through to them. Now, if you, you can warp to the next level if you push all the way over, but you may not want to do that. You may want to just get that. Which one? That P that's coming down. Oh, it's all right. All right, here come the tornadoes. Oh. Oh. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot going on with uh, Arkanoid. Yeah, it's a good idea, Paul. Um, I'll probably just, uh, un, um, I've got a can of compressed air. In the other room, and I'll so that one can kill out. that guy. Yeah, so if you if you bounce the ball up to him, it'll kill him. Oh, oh good save, good save. Oh. oh, all right, you're getting better. Let's try it again. So, what are you up to today, uh, Paul and Hasifa? The card Michael's already told me he's working on um, Luna and the Moonling. It's already about 10 o'clock, right, Paul, in England? Maybe. Maybe not. Is it still crazy hot in Australia? That made all the news here in the States uh, a couple weeks ago, or maybe it was last week even, uh, that heat wave you guys had. What are you playing? What are you playing, Picard? Did you hear about the heat wave in Australia? Yes, it's one of my friends that uh, she went to visit um, her uh, fiance in uh, Sydney. Mm -hmm. She said about it's very hot over there yeah. right now. It's kind of like crazy. Even hotter than Thailand. Yeah, I bet. right, right. Die. Nope, still got one line. I'm not sure what Horizon Zero Dawn is, uh, Necronom. Oh, playing some Elite, eh, Picard? I may be uh, doing a stream of that uh, here oh, for no. too long. Oh. Now that that slows it down, so that's good. Whenever you those balls drop down, they power up you. Oh. They give you power-ups. 
This seems slow. Yeah, so it's easier, right? Oh, oh. I'm so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Did that help? What is your uh, main occupation, uh, Picard? Are you a trader? A mercenary? Ooh. All right. Sorry, guys. You want to try that one again? Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this... But I, I remember this thing, Paul. This is the... I, I saw the trailer. It's like di robot dinosaurs, right? Or at least the robot huge animals, and it's like a post-apocalyptic deal. Ooh, good save. You know, um, Picard, one of the reasons why oh, I think... Oh, I missed yeah, that one. That's all right. Um, one of the reasons why I think I, I never really it played a leap to my full potential is I had a hard time deciding what exactly I wanted to do. So that's the C, so you can catch it. Now you can move around and push the button and release it wherever you want to. Oh. Oh, that's to die. Right yeah, sometimes it can make it more difficult. Yeah, I should not have tried that one. But I'm just so happy, guys, that, uh, you know, the, the Atari was my very first computer, and it's the only computer, the only system that I have that's still the original hardware from when I was a kid. This is the only thing. Everything else I've, I've sold and rebought in some cases. Um, and it, oh, you got oh, this, that, one. that one splits your ball into three other balls. Oh, so it's, it's good. Yeah, it's good. good. It's a power up. Oh, but that's it, it's okay if you can't catch them all. Oh, no, I'm still dying. That's all right. Yeah, I, I I think No Man's Sky is a much better game. Um, I wish that you could combine the two. Uh, I'd love to have the ship. Oh. Oh. I'd love to have the ship of Elite with the world of No Man's Sky. Uh, no Man's Sky does a lot of things right, but I hate the uh, the fact that like all of the space stations, at least all the ones that I've seen, maybe it's different. You know, I've put I've only put in about twenty hours, but you know, it seems like no matter where I go, all the space stations look the same. And uh, I wish that that was that was not the case. And maybe it's not. I mean, later on in the game, did the stations change significantly? <laughs> Good luck, Michael. Just set aside a, 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 a eight or nine hours to make all your jumps to get back. Were you doing the uh, the alien artifact thing? See, that's yeah. What that does is, then if you can keep all those up in the air at once. Oh, now catch that L. Catch that L. Now hit your button. You got lasers now. So once you hit the ball, now you can blow up the blocks with your lasers. What does that mean? See. When you, when you, so is it good or not? It's good. good. You can shoot the oh. lasers and you can see how you can make the blocks disappear with a laser too. But don't yeah, forget I, to catch your oh, ball. Oh yeah, I forgot to... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, let's try one more time. You want to try one more time or you want to try something else? Uh, maybe some, something else. Okay, we'll try something else. <laughs> Another big friend. Okay. So, um... Negotiate this thing. So that's Arkanoid. That was what you just played. Mm -hmm. Arkanoid. Okay. So uh, why don't we try... Um, trying to think of something that you might like. Um, oh, I know. Okay, well, let's try this one. This is Tapper. Okay. So you're you're a server in real life, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a video game version of what you do every day. Okay. Um, yeah, it's almost exactly like what you do. Not really. So that's you. You're the guy over here on the right. And when you press your button and then let it go, it serves beer to the people coming down the aisle. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you have to serve the beer. But then you've also got to run and pick it up, too. And these guys just keep coming. So you got to give them a beer. Pick 
up the glasses. And see that money sign down there? Oh no, I already died. <laughs> Let's try it. And see, when you get all the guys to go away, you complete the level. Okay. Alright, now more people are done. Okay, so I'm going to reset this, and you can try it. Okay. Okay, there you go. So how can I do it? So to, to serve the beer, you just press the press the button and let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how can you? And then it? you go um down and up, move mm -hmm. you down and up, and then left and right, okay. move you left and right. Oh. Try hitting your button. Nothing. Maybe we got to do a full reset. Okay. There you go. So how many how many years? Mm -hmm. One more. Oh, one more. Tapper. Um, oh, you've almost got it. Down, down. Go. Now you can push down when you're in the middle of the table like that, and it mm -hmm. will take you. Um, oh, you did it. You beat the first level. Oh, okay. Very good. Um, even if you're right in the middle, if you push up or down, it'll take you back to the tap automatically. You don't have to run all the way back. Hey Alec! Alec lives in Russia. Hey Alec. No, I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk right now. Yeah, she's, I'm she's in full concentration mode. Gosh. Oh! Oh no! No! <laughs> so you can't let those guys reach to the end of the bar either, or they'll fling you against the bar, and that'll be the end. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm dying! <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> no! 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 Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> So it's easy to get let it get away from you. Oh. Try and do it again. I'm I'm scrolling back through this. Uh... Oh wow, that's crazy, Picard. Ten thousand elite dangerous players will start their journey sixty-five thousand light years away. It's amazing. Um, are you going to be part of that, Picard? Now remember, if you serve all the patrons, the glasses will go away. So you can you can always just like try and get them out of the way before um. the glasses reach the end. No, I'm dying. I think I'm dying. No. All right. Let just me... make me upset. <laughs> can I play a little bit? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, why don't you tell me about that one? About what? 
About you can like it like two times. Yeah, in a row. you can do it two times in a row. I now, okay, only one time. you gotta watch. Which one does he not shake it up? Okay, so you watch this one. Okay. And you gotta help me with where it is. What? You know where it is? I don't know. Okay, it's right here. I got a bonus. <laughs> that was unfair. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, you did not tell me about that one. You can like just like two, mm -hmm. three times. Ready? See, it's too easy. All right. Oops. Oh, okay. I accidentally let one one too many go. All right, so now that you know that, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and die real quick. Actually, I guess there is no dying real quick. So it just came to, to pay, that's all right. Oops, nope. If you accidentally serve too much beer, nobody catches it. This compared to the real arcade version is that the music is not as good. This is like a uh, eight bar repeating loop. Oops. Oh no. Nope, I sort of went too many. Oh, I think there's a little bit of bug in there. Alright. That's Tapper. <laughs> <laughs> hey Lobsterminator! How you doing, man? Hey. Have you heard of Lobsterminator before? Know about lobster? Well, you know about lobster? Yeah. What do you know about lobsters? Tastes good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but you think lobster is kind of overrated, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not worth the money most of the time compared to just eating shrimp. Yeah, some, yeah. sometimes you think like that. I think yeah, I'm going to say it's a big shrimp. Yeah. Well, really, that's what a lobster is just a big shrimp. Yeah. It's kind of moist for you, too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hopefully this will work. Yeah. All right. So Galaxian. You remember this one? Galaga. Galaga. Yeah. This is like Galaga, but this is Galaga. the first version of Galaga. Okay. So here you go. You know what to do. Mm-hmm. So this will this will be a little bit easier for you. Oh no! I can't shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. So you can only shoot um, one. Oh. Yeah. You can only shoot one at a time. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There's no. There's no up and down. Uh, on. On. Are you talking about up and down like the controller in Galaga or um? Oh no. Because you're you're confined to the the bottom of the screen in both Galaxian and Galaga. That sounds pretty good, Lobster Minera. Hey, Paul. Oh, up and down the game. Um, I don't really know what that is. Oh. What is that? You just got hit by a bullet. Oh. Try again. I thought about that one just the, the thing that... Yeah, it's hard back. to know what's a star and what's a bullet. Oof. Boy. Oh, no, 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 no! If it's on here, we'll play it. Um, I didn't see it on the, uh, the flash card. I am ready, Alec. Are you coming to Amiga Ireland? I'm hoping there's some sort of a Russian contingent there. I think I have some problem with my eye. Can I, can I Do you think it's because you're not sitting like right in front of the screen? Yeah, you're kind I of in an so. angle? Just yeah. move over. Like that. No, I'm dying. Oh, okay. Whatever. Try again. Yeah, I, it seems like I've played that Lobsterminator, but I can't remember exactly um, what what it was. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. The air. That, was, that was a close shave. <laughs> Ouch! Oh. Sometimes they just dive right in front of you. Try it again. You're getting better at it. Oh, this is on, uh, this is the Atari 8-bit computer system, the card. A uh, totally different beast than the 2600. But chances are, if it was if there was a C64 version, it would have made an appearance on the Atari 8-bit. Oh, no, they have a lot. Yeah. Oh. Um, Alec, I w I'm not sure how much live streaming I'll be able to do. It depends on the strength of the hotel Wi-Fi. Paul, have you been? I know that you're... You're practically an Ireland native, or are you an Ireland? I can't. I can never remember where you, where you hail from originally. It's Northern Ireland, right? Where you're from? Anyway, have you been to the Prince of Wales before? And how is their Wi-Fi signal? Which color do you hate the most? Don't light up road above Bob purple or whatever. Mm -hmm. I have a lot. It's with me a lot. Oof. Okay, yeah. Um, if the if the Wi-Fi is good enough to live stream, then I plan on on doing some live streaming. Uh, I'm hoping Friday night uh, we, will be our big amigos night out, and uh, that's when uh, Chris Folds has lovingly donated a very large sum of money for us to purchase a bottle of Irish whiskey and share it among ourselves. So uh, we will uh, we'll have to get everybody together and go out. Um, if not to the oldest pub in Ireland, which I hear is an Athlone, uh, to a uh, similar establishment, but someplace where there's live music. The, the organizers are going to an Indian restaurant, and to be honest with you, you know, for it being my first time in Ireland, I would rather uh, go to someplace a little bit more local, if you know what I mean. Um, so, which I'm sure uh, you, you guys, we can we can all agree oh, on no, a place. I'm dying. Yeah, there's nothing you could do about that. Sometimes, right. Yeah, sometimes you just sometimes. You just die. That was the first time you died, though. Yeah. You were already on the second wave. Oh, oh my gosh. It gets really hard in the second wave. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Paul. Fish and chips, shepherd's pie. I think that's an Irish thing, right? Or maybe that's a British thing. Um, what else? Um, yeah, all that stuff. You can, you can, you can direct me, Paul, too. Authentic Irish things. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh, that's crazy. See, this is seem not fair yeah. because I have only one shot. They have a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can I try it one time? Yeah. Okay. The trick is for me is to destroy all the ships in one row as fast as possible. But they're moving. Yeah, they're moving. So you gotta ignore the ones that are coming down at you. You know, you just gotta hope that they don't hit you. If you can hit them as they come down, that's a bonus, but it's not always that way. If you guys have any questions for Eat about Thailand, uh, we'd be happy to answer them for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't check to see if our audio levels were okay, but nobody's complained so far, so I guess I guess they're all right. What I'm wondering is if in Gal uh, Galaxian, if there's a bonus stage like there is in Galaga after you beat the second wave. This game goes a lot slower than Galaga in terms of how long it takes to beat a stage, but the enemies definitely don't move any slower. They move just as fast. Yeah, they move really fast. And this is a much, much better game. Of course, you know, Galaxian is always better than Space Invaders, but the Atari version of Space Invaders is uh, incredibly awful, the 8-bit uh, the version. Sound okay. I can do that. Frank, 
take that down. Thank you, Alex. And uh, it's about time to switch games anyway. Yeah. Enough of Galaxian. Let's see, what should we do next? Oh, I know one you like. This is, uh, it's called uh, Pacific Coast Highway. Seems like your truck. <laughs> like a Euro Truck Simulator? Yeah. yeah. You can't imagine the fun that I find. Oh, that's not the right game. And I don't even think that's going to work. Oh, it does work, but that's not what I want to play. Try again. Blob Terminator says that his colleague is in Thailand at the moment enjoying his vacation somewhere mm -hmm. secluded. You know what secluded means? Nope. It's like out of the way of everything. Oh. It's like. Is it Norton? Maybe, probably. Yeah, he's, you know, you know anything about where he might be, whether it's northern or southern or anything, Lobsterminator? Or maybe the northern skylight. Yeah, there's definitely less people in northern yeah. Thailand. The southern skylight is crowded, out of boring. Here we go, Pacific Coast Highway. Okay, so in this game you're a rabbit, and what you've got to do is you've got to get across the street to the other side. Okay. Okay. So do we have to like run only one time? So, so you start down here. That's uh -huh. you. Okay. And. No, can can I stop somewhere? Oh yeah, you can stop. Um, so like, I'm, I'll show you real quick. Okay. So. You can move left and right, all the directions. Oh. I think you have to make it to where your girlfriend is up there. Okay. So let's try that again, just to make sure that I'm right about that. Yeah, and then you go to the boats. And with the boats, you have to jump on the boats, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna reset it. Okay. okay. There you go. So only one. Yep, that's so it. There's no button. So turn right and turn left. Just, just yeah. Right. So left, right, right up, up and down. down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Totally different oh, game. No. Oh no! It's already <laughs> over. <laughs> and you get your ambulance that comes to pick you up. Yeah, it's a totally not a rip off of Frogger uh, ball. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry about that. And we also have our microphone mounted uh, pretty close to where the micro switches are. Um, if I move it, maybe if I move it over oh, no, I'm done. here, no, that would make me too loud. So, yeah. Oh, sh oh. I have to jump through the board, right? Yep, you gotta jump through it. But you made it to the, uh, the first stage. Let's try it again. Uh, Michael, what were some of the favorite things you saw when you were over in oh. Dublin? <laughs> I'm dying very easy. Right, you can do it. Good job. And I had to jump. Yeah, but jump. you got to jump on. The, what? You have to wait a second. Oh, sh what? Oh. Oh, no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! You want to try it again? Yeah. Please. Okay. Um, Atari eight hundred is almost identical to a twelve hundred XL. Um, the only difference is that depending on how much RAM your Atari 800 has, it might not have enough to run um, some of the games. But a stock Atari 800 will run uh, probably close to 90% of all commercially released games for the Atari 8-bit platform. So you're really not missing out on much of anything. Uh, you're missing out on a really Gosh. great version of Mario Brothers. 
um, and uh, some of the homebrew stuff, the later on homebrew stuff, but really the Atari 800 well, is my it. second favorite uh, of the Atari 8-bit systems. Watch. Oof. <laughs> 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 it's all right. It's a hard game. It's a hard game. You want to try one more time? Uh, yeah. Please. Okay. Pretty easy. There was. Uh, in fact, we will play it on this stream. Uh, it's a. There were actually two versions. One that came out in the early days of the Atari 8-bit, and one that was a very late release. It was released in conjunction with the XEGS, which is the consoleized version of the Atari 8-bit line, much like the CD32 and the Amiga. Atari. Uh, decided to release a consoleized version of its computer system, and it sold. Well, it didn't sell as poorly as the CD32, but it didn't sell very well. Ooh, oh, yeah, no. you you gotta like it's got to be in the middle of the boat. You can't jump on like the little things on the ends. Why? They don't give you a lot of lives in this game either. There you go. There you go. Okay, in the middle you can go anywhere. Oh sh <laughs> Oh man. Almost got there. You wanna do it again? Yep. Okay, hit Please. the start button. Where I stop? Start. See so start okay. right there? Oh. Yep. Okay. Nope, nope, uh, below it. The key below oh. it. Oh. There okay. you go. Game of Thrones tour, wow. Titanic Museum? Oh, yeah. Did you know that the Titanic set sail from Ireland, Eep? Uh-uh. Yeah. I, I'd forgotten that, actually. Even though we just saw that thing on the oh, Titanic. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, you oh, did it! You did it! Very good. Oh, oh sh just go wait. <sighs> you were doing so well, but you still got two lives left, so it's still good. It's good. You can do it. I am dying. I'm dying. All the time. What's going on? So the uh, uh, the amigos amigo Aaron's weight loss wager is is going well by all accounts. Um, Aaron is uh. He's been pleased with the uh, with with his weight loss so far. Of course, it's all strictly confidential. Uh, the weights from week to week, and he it oh. all will be revealed on the uh, right before Amigathon. But but he he has been losing weight. Um, he had a um, he had uh, he's he's trying to figure out what what to do with it with the diet. He said he's been eating a lot of vegetables, and and so um, but yeah, I think I think things are going all right. I'll make sure and let him know you asked, Alec. Is Belfast where U2 was founded? Or did I just make that up? Oh, oh man. yeah. Ah, so yeah. If, it, if you're on this boat and you're going too far, you gotta jump back down on this. So the best thing to do is get on one of these, ride it over here, jump up there, then you can wait until it's time um, and then okay. go there. Okay. You were doing so well. <laughs> but you can make it to the end of the first level, no problem. That one's easy, right? Yeah. Let's just try again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you two's from Dublin? Sorry, Paul. Sorry. It shows you my the extent of my uh, Irish knowledge. I don't know what to do. Get you. Well, Alec, it's... uh. I don't know how to answer that question. I, I, I assume it's the same way that everybody around the world gains weight. You just eat a lot and don't move. Um, in the United States, it's very easy for one to live a sedentary lifestyle because you basically, uh, you have a car and you have a house with a driveway in it. So when you go to work, 
you get out of your car, or I mean, you get out, you got out of your house, you walk five steps to your car, you get in your car, you go sit in your office for, you know, 12 hours or eight hours or whatever, and you get back in your car and you come home and you sit. It's not like other countries where, you know, you might live in an apartment and have to, you know, walk downstairs or walk to the train and then walk to your office. Uh, we've pretty much eliminated the need for most exercise in large portions of the country. Oh! Let me just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can play something else. All right, so you guys were asking about Mario Brothers. This is one that I actually have. This is the rarest cartridge that I own for the uh, 1200XL. This is the XEGS version of, uh, of Mario Brothers. Yeah, try it again here. You've got to reseat it. But uh, Aaron is definitely of exceptional size. There's not a whole lot of guys that are walking around at his uh, at his size. He's also very tall. He's about six four or six five. Well, this is bad news. This stopped working. Um, we've got to blow on it a little bit. Let's try again. Nope. Hmm. Well, that's no good. I do have it on here, but I don't know if it works or not. I'm a huge Van Morrison man fan, Paul. Uh, Moon Dance is probably my top 20 albums of all time. This is Mario Brothers 2007, but I think it's going to tell me I need more memory than I have, or it might just not work at all. It doesn't work at all. Yeah, it went just because of your computer, or just because of the game? Uh, it's because of the game. When you're loading stuff off this crazy thing, sometimes the games work and sometimes they don't. Oh. Let's see. This so is Mario why? Brothers XE Arcade XEX. Um, it has to do with like the file format. So it okay. So this this might actually load. Nope. So this one says that I need more RAM. I need a 130 XE. Um. So we got one more to try. Um, games, a lot of games have to be patched. They have to be changed to work with this system. Mm -hmm. And some games have and some games have not. So let's try it. This is the last, our last hurrah. Hopefully this will work. Nope. It's telling me, but I, I can run the cartridge, so I don't know. All right. We got one more game to play. Okay. Okay. So this is a classic two-player game that was most made famous on the Atari 2600. This is Combat. Okay? Just like a army shooter. Yep, that's right. So, we're going to find it real quick. Okay. So, here's your stick. Here's mine. Okay. Now, there's a couple different ways to play. This is the first way. You've got the two tanks, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you start the game, you move by pushing up. Yep, see how up moves you forward? And then left and right rotate your tank. So when you push left and right, see how it rotates your tank? So just get used to how that works. So like, try and come up to me. No, he don't come up to you. Okay. Yeah, you gotta keep going the other way. There you go. Oh. Nope. When you get lined up towards me, start pushing up. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. So, remember, yeah, left and right, and then now push up. I'll push up, okay. Yeah, and see how up makes you go forward. Oh, I thought I'd have to turn, like... Yeah. So this game is different. This game, left and right 
rotate your tank. So left, okay. And right, right. And then up. Yeah, and up makes you go forward. Oh, okay. How about down? No and down. then down makes you go backwards. Actually, down doesn't make you go backwards. Down has no function. So only up. There's only one way to travel, and that's forward. Okay. okay? So. So the object of this game is to shoot the other person. Okay. okay shoot. So uh, rotate yourself so you're facing me. Uh, oh no, no. Okay. Okay. Now, now press your button. Uh, okay. 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 So this version of the game is not too fun because there's no obstacles. So we're going to play this version. Okay. So now. So what is the block? The blocks you you, you got to go around the blocks. Okay. Just why? Just because I protect yourself? Or? Yeah, so you're trying to shoot me. So you've got to get to where you can shoot me. Oh, okay. Okay. This is crazy. The lemmings for the uh, Atari 8 bit is, uh, I'll stream that on another day. Actually, I don't know if I could get it to work or not, but uh, um, it is. It's very limited in its color palette. Even more limited than the uh, <laughs> than the Amiga version. What is that? <laughs> so you're running into the wall. You got to rotate <laughs> yourself. There you go. Now go forward a little bit. Now you can get make your way towards me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you got me. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, one nothing. See that that smile means she's winning. She won't she won't smile anymore. Don't have to be she, nice to me, dear. <laughs> I know you are a very smart husband. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> See, even this you cannot land. <laughs> Remember, up makes you move forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That one is. I know that one is not. <laughs> so do not move. <laughs> you come all the way to me. <laughs> all right, so that's the no. tanks. Okay. Now there's other games too you can play. So there's jet planes. Okay. So on this one, you push down and up. Huh? You push, down and up. Yep. Okay. So when you push down, see how it makes your thing go up? Okay. Mm hmm. And now you try and shoot me. Yep, just like that. No. You shoot me? <gasps> now you just shot me. You say not that, uh, up and down, right? Mm-hmm, up and down. Oh. What? What am I doing? <laughs> okay, I so this is this is okay. combat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna do it for our stream today, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, Paul Lobsterminator, Necrodom, Michael, uh, Alec. Uh, I think that might be it. Oh, Picard two thousand five. Thank you guys so much for uh, for watching. Um, well, Thank you for inviting me too. Yeah, no problem. We'll have to do this again. I'll figure out a way to uh, get some arcade games going on here, and uh, we can okay. we can play some more stuff because I know you love Galaga. So we'll, we'll have to do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Adios. Bye guys.